Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I have an Old Navy try-on haul for you. It's been a little bit since we did our last Old Navy haul, so I wanted to do another one. Uh, I'm wearing my hair up today and I'm already regretting that decision, but we're going to go ahead and do this because I found some really good things. So let's go ahead and get started. So like I said, I'm going to apologize right away for this hair situation. Um, I don't really know what's going on, but... <sighs> Hair is not my thing. Makeup, I love. I could do makeup every day. I love doing makeup even if I don't go anywhere. I struggle with my hair though. It's just not, not exciting to me, not fun. So <laughs> this is where we're at today. I'm not loving it, but that's what it is. Today I have a couple plaid shirts, a couple pairs of jeans. I have a couple skirts, a dress, a coat. So there is a lot of variety in today's haul and I'm excited for that. This first outfit is really cute and perfect for this time of year. It is a gray flannel shirt, this really simple plaid that I love, and I don't have a gray plaid, I don't think, so this is nice. It's not a really thick flannel, but it is really cozy and comfortable. I was going to put this hat on with it, but a hat with your hair up, I don't know. I cannot pull that off at all, so we're not doing that. But this is from Walmart and it's really cute. I will link this if I can find it. It does go well with this shirt, but not with the hair. I have a pair of Rockstar skinny jeans. These are an ankle length jean and they are a raw hem. They have obvious distressing right here on the thighs. And I really love the button fly on these. Um, I used to not be a big button fly kind of person, but I'm getting a lot more into them. I don't know. I really like that look. So I did tuck the tee in so that you could see the button fly. There's not really a purpose of wearing one if you can't, in my opinion. This is what the back looks like. Pretty simple. And I paired it with these kind of Doc Martin looking boots. These are a Chelsea boot from my last Target try on, and I will link that if you haven't seen it. But these are awesome, and I love them. So I like the little pop of ankle that you see right there, but just barely, and I like these jeans. Um, they are a size 6, and I think I should have gotten a size 4. I feel like a lot of old navy jeans tend to stretch out really quickly, and I can already feel these stretching, so I think I would go down a size, but I do really like the look of them. Um, I got a size medium in the flannel, and this is how it fits untucked. So I like this outfit a lot and would just size down in the jeans a little bit. Next we have this cheetah print sweater. I kept on the same boots and same jeans and I got a large in this. It does not fit like a large in my opinion. It barely fits like a medium. I mean it's kind of a regular size. It's just a little roomy right here but the arms fit normally and it's just just a little bit so enough to tuck in but it's not overwhelming at all, so I would definitely size at least your regular size, if not size up one like I did. Um, I like the way that looks. But I like this cheetah print. It's not a really bold print, but it's still something that gives you a little bit of interest. And it is a really soft, cozy sweater, so I like that. And I like that with the boots, I think that's a cute look. So this is a keeper. Before I switch into a different pair of jeans and the skirts that I have, I wanted to show this flannel, and it's the same size and style as the gray flannel, but this is obviously a different print. This is a buffalo plaid. I think there is nothing better than wearing a buffalo plaid around Christmas. It just, like, as soon as I see this, I think Christmas, and that's exactly what I want to wear Christmas Day. I just think it's perfect for that, um, but obviously perfect for any kind of cold weather. I just like it. I like it with the boots again. I think that's a cool look. This is just one of those classic shirts that I think it's great for everyone to have. I think everyone looks good in them, and so I really like this one like the oversized buffalo plaid. I don't like when it's a little too small, so this is perfect. This hair is actually appropriate for this next outfit, I think. Um, I have this black puffer vest, and this is one of their really thin vests, but it still keeps you a little warm. Um, it's a tiny bit longer in the back, has pockets right here. Let's see, do they zip? Yeah, they zip open, so that's kind of cool if you have something like keys that you want to throw in there and not lose. Um, I have this top. This is actually a men's top from Target. If you missed my last Target haul, I showed this in there, so I will 
um, put that information down below, but I really love this Henley. It's so awesome, and I like it with this vest a lot. And then I got these pink leggings. These are a pair of their active leggings. Um, they are a high rise. Let me show you that right there. So they have a really thick, wide waistband. They have pockets, which is awesome. And they're a really soft, cozy material. I think they'd be great as pajamas, too. They do have kind of a wide cuff there at the bottom. Not sure I love the pink color. I mean, I do, but I don't know if I would wear it out of the house. Um, but it is cute just in general. Just a little too skin-like. It's <laughs> too close to my skin tone. And then I paired it with these shoes. These are from Walmart. I mentioned these also in my last Target try-on because Target does have a similar pair. Um, they are kind of like a Steve Madden dupe, but I didn't like the Target pair. I really preferred the Walmart pair. So that's what I'm wearing with these. So I like this outfit overall. I think it's warm and cozy. You could get out of the house and run errands in this and it's going to look put together enough, but it'll be comfortable and warm. So that's always a good thing. This next outfit makes me feel a little bit like a teacher for some reason, I'm not sure why, but I do really like this look and it is really cozy. Even for winter you can be cozy and dressed up, which I love. So this is just a basic kind of thick knitted sweater and it has a mock neck right there. It has the ribbing that kind of goes up here. A little bit of a balloon sleeve, not super exaggerated, and then it does have the knit that goes diagonally this way towards the bottom too. So it is a really pretty color of burgundy. I tucked it in just a little bit to this uh, skirt because I'm not sure. This skirt's kind of strange to me. I like it. Um, it's a high-waisted skirt and it's knit. Um, it is pretty thin actually, but it is comfortable. It has that slit there in the back you can see. and. I got a medium, um, which is my normal size, so I feel like I need shapewear underneath this, which is awkward, but then at the same time, I have a lot of extra room. You can see, especially in the hip area, and even in the waist, it's really loose. It has a big, thick elastic band on the inside, um, and it does have some darts right there that help kind of give it shape, but it is not, not a tight fit. So. I feel like I need shapewear and I need to go down a size, which is a really weird thing to say. Um, but it's just kind of an odd fit to me. But I do like the look. If it fit well, I would like it a lot. Um, I just think it needs to be a lot more close to my body and so it's a little weird with this kind of, <laughs> this much wiggle room. Um, I paired it with these Valerie booties. These were from last year uh, from Target, but they have them back this year. so. If you missed that in my Target try on uh, with my boots and shoes haul, then I have all that information from that video there. But overall, I like this look. I just think the skirt needs to be a different length, different width, and then I like this sweater. Obviously, you could pair it with jeans and it would look really cute too. So I like the sweater, would change the size of the skirt for sure. Alright, I like this next sweater and skirt combo a lot more than the last one. Um, this kind of makes me feel like 60s vibes a little bit with the kind of mini skirt. I haven't worn this style of skirt in a long time, but I actually really like it. Um, this is a size small sweater and it's a really kind of light oatmeal color. It does have a mock neck and this does not stretch a lot, I will say that. It was a little tough getting on. So I'm not loving that, but I don't think it has anything to do with the size. I think it's just that style. Um, it does have a little bit of a side slit right there. This is the length if it weren't tucked in. And then this is a high-waisted corduroy skirt. Kind of one of those nondescript colors that's hard to put your finger on, but it is a kind of brownish purple. Really pretty color though, I like it a lot. Um, it has some seams going up the front. It does have pockets, does it? It does, right here. So it has kind of some unique pockets there that I like. Um, and it does have pockets on the back as well. I sized down in this based on the reviews and got a size 4, and I'm really glad I did. A 6 would have been way too big. And this has a tiny bit of stretch. Um, not a lot, but a tiny bit. So I would say size down one. It's definitely not tight on me at all. It's very comfortable, so I like this a lot. Paired it with these booties. These are the chocolate suede booties that I showed in my pumpkin spice Target haul. And I think this look is really cute. 
I'm liking the mini skirt a lot more than I thought I would, honestly. <laughs> I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about it. Um, I didn't know if I was too old for that kind of thing. But I think the mini skirt paired with the mock neck sweater and having like more skin covered on top, if you're going to show some down here, I think is a good balance. So I really like this outfit. All right, I was going to show this shirt with a pair of jeans, but I decided to keep the skirt on because I just want to talk about it really quickly. I don't love this shirt, um, and I always want to show you guys things that I like and things that weren't hits for me. I think it's important to show both. I hate when people only show the good things because that's not really much of a review. So I like showing everything, and I'm not loving this shirt. I love the color of it. It's really pretty. Um, but I don't like the fit of it. Uh, for one thing, this is a small and it's still very oversized. You can see how it's like hanging down in my armpits. It's gapping right here, even though I have a ton of room, even as a small, but there's still this gap right there that I hate. And then I just don't like this fabric. I feel like it's one of those shirts that's going to shrink up like three sizes when you wash it. I don't like the way it feels. It seems like it's going to be one of those shirts that's also going to be hard to iron and you're obviously going to have to iron it every time you wear it. Um, let me show you the length untucked just so you can get an idea. So that's what it looks like untucked. So it's just a regular length. And like I said, this is a small and this is how much room I have. So this one I do not love can't recommend it but I wanted to show it anyway so this next look is all sorts of strange for me but we're gonna see what we can do with it um, I have a tank from Amazon that I put underneath this cardigan I will try to find the link for that if I can it's just like a lacy cami top I thought I needed something to kind of sweeten up this cardigan it is a grandpa kind of style of cardigan but it is kind of a cropped length so I don't know I got a medium in this and it's kind of baggy. I'm not, I don't know. I thought it would be one of those that I could wear buttoned up and wear it as a shirt and it's definitely too low for that. So I'm not sure if a small I would have been able to do that. Um, but it is plenty big. I like the knit. It's really pretty and it does have these little flecks of color. It's like a brownish purple color again, kind of like that skirt, but it has these little flecks of orange and red and yellow. So that's pretty. Um, this is what it looks like if you left it open. I don't know. I don't love it open though. I paired it with these Rockstar skinny jeans. These are their super skinny and these have a seam that's going down the front. I thought that was kind of cool. These were a lot harder to get on than the first pair and they are the same size. So I don't know. I mean, they fit me fine in the waist, but they are on the snugger side and then they are very tight on the legs. I mean, it's like jagging super tight kind of thing. So I don't know. I'm not loving these like I thought I would. I like the style of them. They do have a raw hem, um, but I just don't love how they feel. So I paired them with these uh, chocolate suede booties again from Target, but I don't know guys. These two pieces though, the sweater and the jeans, I'm just not feeling this combo. Um, I just think, I don't know, maybe I need different sizes or maybe they're just not for me. Let me show you the cardigan in the gray because I accidentally bought the same cardigan in two colors. I did not know that when I looked at the website, so I'll just show you real quick. So now I don't know what to think. This cardigan is the same size, yep, medium, and um, it's supposed to be the same style, but this is definitely more cropped. I don't know if you can tell. Definitely more cropped. Even in the sleeves, I feel like it's just on the edge of being too short. Um, and it's definitely thinner, so I don't know what the deal is. This does not have like the little flex that the other one does. It's a solid dark gray. And I like this one a lot more, actually. I feel like this is how I imagined it to fit a little more. Still wouldn't wear it just as a button-down like sweater as is, but I like the fit of this a lot more. So this one I would keep, uh, would not keep the brown one. I kept on the same jeans and booties, but yeah, I like this one a lot more, which is really strange considering I thought they were supposed to be the same cardigan, but this one is a good one. I like this dress, but I would have gotten a different color. I'm not feeling this color with this style. It's a little like mumsy looking to me, but I do like the dress. It is a rib style wrap dress and it is a actual wrap, not a faux wrap. 
I know some people like that, some people don't. I personally love it because it means it's adjustable, so that's handy. It is a little bit low cut, and I don't like that. It has the ties there on the side, and then it has like a normal wrap wood on the front. I don't know what shoes I would pair with this that I would love. I don't love it with these, but I'm thinking of like heels, I'm thinking of boots, and I just can't think of anything that I would love with it. So I think the dress is nice, but I need a different color. Maybe I need a cardigan over it. I think that might help, but just on its own, I'm not a huge fan. My hair is falling down more and more by the second, so we are going to finish this up. This is the last outfit, but this outfit has three layers to it. So this is the first layer. Um, I hate wearing tank tops, so I'm just showing you this very quickly, but it has a scallop detail on the trim, and I think that is really pretty. And it is adjustable in the back, so you can adjust this how you want. I hate getting camis that aren't adjustable, so I love that that has that detail, and I really like the look of this one. Let's throw on the next layer and I'll show you what that looks like. This sweater I love. This is perfect and this is what I was envisioning with this cami. I think it looks really cute under this sweater. So this is kind of a light dusty rose and it's that kind of blue clay kind of fabric that's got those little bumpy kind of tutty coat texture. Um, it's pretty thin but it's gonna be still I think pretty warm. Has these front patch pockets, has side slits, has ribbing at the cuffs and the hem and it's just an open style. I really like this. I got my regular size medium. I think I could have done a small and it wouldn't have hurt, but I also don't think the medium is awful. Um, so it's a preference thing. Kept it on with the same jeans and boots, and I really like this together. Now I'm gonna show you the last piece of the haul, and this was the whole reason I wanted to do this haul. I saw this next piece and I thought it was perfection. So I'm gonna try it on for you and we'll see if we like it. Oh guys. <laughs> this one is so good. I don't even know why I have the tag on this because it's going to be ripped off right away. Um, I'm definitely going to be keeping this one. My husband's not going to be happy with me because I have like 50 gazillion coats, but this is going to have to be another one. Um, this is a really pretty color. I love the color. This is, I think, Spicy Lentils is the name of the color, which is interesting. It's kind of a mix between a camel and a brown. Like, it's almost a little orangey, but it's just that perfect shade. It actually matches the boots really well. But I love pea coats. I think there's nothing more classic and stylish than a pea coat. Um, I got a size medium, and I'll show you what it looks like buttoned up in just a second. But it does have pockets right here. This is what the back looks like. There is one of the little vents um, to help you move. And just a regular pea coat style collar. It's plenty long in the arms, which is always a concern, so I love that. This coat doesn't have a lot of wool in it, and I'll talk about that more in a second, but let me show you what it looks like buttoned up. This is what it looks like buttoned up, and there's my knee, so you can see it's just above my knee, and I'm 5'8", so it would be a little bit longer on somebody shorter, of course. And I really like this style, like I said. Um, <laughs> here in the Midwest, I think we have the difference between functional coats and really cute coats. So I mentioned that it is not 100% wool. Um, let me look at the tag actually and tell you what it is. Okay, so it's basically half acrylic, half polyester, and like 3% wool. So there is hardly any wool in this coat at all. Um, some people might like that. It is a lot softer than just, you know, a regular wool pea coat would be. Um, but it also might not keep you as warm. So what I was saying is that I feel like in the Midwest we have the functional coats and the cute coats. Um, this is what I would call a church coat. So I would definitely wear this to church on Sunday. Um, and I would wear this on a date night, but I would not wear this as like I'm gonna go walk in the snow and <laughs> gonna be outside for an hour kind of a coat. This is a dashing from the car to whatever inside place you are going. Um, if you live in the Midwest, if you lived somewhere where it's gonna be a lot warmer, then this might be perfect for you. Um, it's not that it's not warm. I just know how <laughs> the winters get here and this would not keep me warm. This is not one of those puffer coats that you could just walk in the woods for hours. I don't really do that, but I'm just saying. So I love this. I love the length. I love, love, love the color and I think it's perfect. So this one was on sale. I think it was half off when I got it. So like $30. You can't beat that for a cozy coat that is in a pretty color. So I'm definitely going to be keeping this one, and I'm really glad that I found it.
Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this haul despite my crazy hair situation. And if you did, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe. Um, this might be my last video with this background. I have this picture on my wall and I'm going to be doing something different pretty soon. I'm going to have my husband help. So I will show you guys that coming up and I'm pretty excited about it. But in the meantime, check out my other hauls and I will see you in the next video. Thank mm -hmm. you.